My name is Slavka. I'm from Alabama, and this channel is about living, traveling, and learning. See you on the road. What's up, guys? Starting another trip. I've been home for two and a half weeks. I actually meant to get out last Thursday, but it's been crazy. Uh, the loads are hard to come by all of a sudden. It's like March of 2020. Uh, just uh, brokers don't want to pay. Prices are high for fuel, and uh, load loads are not paying well. So I, I end up sitting from Thursday. I went home again because we couldn't find anything <laughs> decent more than two dollars a mile. So, anyways, today uh, Tuesday uh, was it uh, April 5th already? We're at uh, Pine Hill, Alabama, about uh, I don't know about uh, 60 miles from Birmingham waiting at this paper mill eventually gonna get loaded so this load uh, is heading to Mount Vernon Ohio it's uh, 746 miles up north it's paying uh, 27 let me uh, double check on that uh, for you it's 2100 700 2170 dollars it's just over three dollars a mile we'll take that um, other than that yeah the uh, fuel prices are crazy Thank God I have my fuel discount card. I get, you know, anywhere between 60 to 80 cents off usually. And then, uh, you know, still even with that, um, you know, we're paying close to $5 a gallon. Uh, or a little bit less than that. But it's uh, definitely different kind of trucking now. It's like a different uh, era, you know. I've been learning uh, to drive slowly. I've just put cruise control down to like 60, 65, let other trucks pass me. I don't care to go fast anymore. We're just gonna pick up the loads and uh, save money. Uh, I mean, I can show you the math behind this. When fuel was cheap, it was relatively easy to just, you know, go speed limit a little bit above. And, you know, I'm ungoverned. My truck can go any speed. Now. But now, you know, the, if I go back, like in my records, uh, the fuel last year was uh, average around three, 320, something like that. That was buying it at. I did uh, 88,000 miles last year. Uh, my fuel bill was uh, uh, around thirty-six thousand dollars, and you know I, I've guys, you, you know, you see my videos from last year. I mean, I, we get out in the west and, and hammers down. I'm going 75, 80, you know, whenever speed limits allows that. So I was not uh, caring about that at all, and it worked out. You know, I could get coast to coast fairly reasonably, drive eight hours a day, and still cover 550 miles. You know, shit like that. That's that's nice to drive fast when you can. Not anymore, though. Uh, with fuel prices uh, nearing uh, six dollars a gallon, you know, my, my, if I do the same miles and, and drive the same way I did last year, instead of thirty-six thousand dollars, I'll be looking at close to sixty-two thousand dollars. You know, that's almost doubling it. And you'd be saying, "Well, how's that possible?" Well, yeah, it's very simple. Uh, the truck going sixty miles per hour will average somewhere around seven point two, at least mine. With a drive in, well, I'll average about seven point two, seven point five miles to a gallon going sixty. I mean, and no more than that. When I wide open throttle like I normally run, I average just about 6.2 miles per two gallons. So it's a significant difference, you know, one mile per gallon uh, running slower. But it is, it is I tell you, it, it is uh, hard to learn to run slow. Oh, my God. You know, I've been trucking for five years now. And uh, pretty much since the beginning, I had ungoverned trucks. Uh, I did six months of a company driver. And then after that, I bought my own truck. So, uh <sighs> <laughs> but in a way, you know, it's got its benefits. Um, you just kind of, you know, put the audiobook on and, and just cruise control and then let people pass you and just uh, watch for other traffic merging and shit like that. But it is mind numbing, I tell you. Well, we got to do what you got to do. You know, this is this is the kind of industry ups and downs. Um, I'm glad I'm not, uh, you know, a uh, child of the summer. I didn't just buy a truck last year for these crazy prices that have been around for trucks and trailers. I've it's paid off trailer my truck's almost paid off so i got like uh less than uh i think i have less than six payments left so um, i mean i'm almost there um so yeah uh, you know it's downturn or not we're just gonna run a little bit slower and make more net income it'll be less gross income but it'll be more net so that's the important part the stuff that you get to keep and take home if the loads are slower and i end up sitting more i have apu so i'm not burning uh diesel you know idling uh, keeping up the air conditioner and what's not this summer so i'm good in that regard and you know with a 
shitty load situation, if there were lots of cheap loads, I can sit more. I can afford to sit a day or two before, you know, picking up good paying loads. There's still still loads out here that are paying, uh, you know, three plus dollars uh, per mile for a dry van, uh, like like the one I'm picking up right now. You just have to hunt for them. There's more work for my dispatch, more work for me, being patient. Um, that, that's that's the gist of it. I'm, I'm hoping you know this is a temporary shock. Maybe consumers, you know, with the, with the gas prices, with the war with Russia affecting uh, gas prices, consumers kind of scale back. Everything's you know scaling back. We, we don't know. Uh, this could be temporary. This uh, it, this could be permanent. Again, uh, I already went through a downturn in, in 2019, and it was kind of scary. You know, when you just all the money you make just goes back to your fuel card and a truck maintenance, and then like you get to keep a few thousand dollars for your work that week. <laughs> quite scary um, I can't imagine having all these payments right now and then and there's a lot of new uh, entrants in this market a lot of guys bought trucks used trucks that are have like four or five hundred thousand miles on them for a hundred twenty hundred forty thousand dollars because that's what they were selling right now same trucks were for sale uh, two years ago for like forty thousand dollars thirty five thousand dollars you know the ones that are out of warranty or nearly out of the warranty now they were at the dealers for almost price of a new truck because you couldn't buy a new one if you wanted to same with the drive-in trailers. I bought the my drive-in trailer cash for fourteen thousand dollars in in twenty twenty. Uh, same trailer last year was selling more more minus a uh, twenty uh, twenty fifteen. Same trailer older than mine was selling for thirty six thousand dollars on on truck paper just just like a few months ago. So I can't see how a new guy's entering this market now. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be blood in the water. There's gonna be bankruptcies, you know. Uh, if this continues the way it is, you know, a lot of brokers don't want to pay more than $2 a mile. Well, $2 a mile is barely enough to break even back, you know, when fuel was uh, under $3 a gallon. Now with fuel topping 6 and a lot of these new drivers, they don't understand how fuel cards work. They don't have their own fuel card. They use company fuel card. They don't pass discounts to them. So there's, there's all kinds of bullshit. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be working down these loads and then just running slowly, and we'll see you down the road. Bye. Well, you guys last seen me, it was uh, Tuesday and I was getting loaded. So that, that night I got loaded and I drove all through the night till like 4 a.m. when my clock ran out. So it was dark, I didn't film. I got all the way up to uh, near Elizabethtown, Kentucky, and then I shut down. Yesterday, uh, my clock came back around noon. Uh, I was actually like towards 1 o'clock. Drove for a little bit, now I'm going to next day, going for a delivery. So... We're in Ohio near Columbus, uh, just uh, maybe about 40 miles south of Columbus on 71, and uh, we're heading uh, deliveries about 80 miles from here. So slowly learning to drive slow, guys. It's it's not easy, you know. After five years of just hauling ass with fuel prices, I'm uh, looking at 63, 62 on cruise control, saving them fuels. Um, it's not easy it's not easy guys it's like relearning how to drive because I'm normally you know I'm normally the fastest truck like there are sometimes days where nobody ever passed me like no other truck I'm not, I'm not bragging I'm just saying like they, that's how I used to run um, but nowadays uh, the loads slow down they're not paying as much fuel is expensive there's no point rushing because even if I get there faster I just sit and uh, well if I sit you know they just wasted fuel it's uh not gonna help me achieve the bigger goal of bringing more money home so that's what it is now um uh, yeah man if you guys you know four wheelers you start seeing uh slow ass trucks and get even slower that's one of the motherfuckers like myself that does the math with the you know well the fuel prices we just you know you have to respond somehow that my truck speed is one of the few things i can't control about this and that's what ultimately comes down to anyhow uh yeah we're gonna round to columbus and uh, go for delivery nothing nondescript warehouse somewhere in the in the boonies out there north northeast of the columbus so it's really not much excitement i'm hoping my dispatch will find me another load today like a short one um, other than that i have no loads after this one uh, i'm just gonna keep rolling you know by the hour so that's it see you later guys what's up guys same day sunshine and we're going to canada so i'm picking up load right now near columbus ohio and uh it's heading to calgary alberta it's paying uh eighty four hundred dollars on uh just under two thousand miles so